Therapeutic Ultrasound with your TheraTouch CX4 combo unit. The treatment approach in this segment is utilizing thermal ultrasound to promote vigorous heating in tendons. The mechanism of action is a therapeutic heating to increase tissue temperature to promote vigorous heating to increase the viscoelasticity of soft tissue. The clinical example in this particular case is chronic patella tendinopathy. And the dosing intensity or the requirements is to increase your intensity up to one watt per centimeter squared. In this example, we have a five centimeter sound head that we are using and additional comments or considerations to consider. One is a slow and controlled movement of the sound head. Be very particular and pay attention to that movement of your applicator. Also, the area of sonation should be no greater than two times the size of the actual sound head itself. At most, the patient should feel comfortable warmth temperature. Uh, just decrease the intensity on the unit if the patient does report that the temperature feels a little too hot to them. And then, of course, another clinical notation here is toward the tail end of your treatment session, as the tendon starts to loosen up and becomes nice and e elastic, you just want to apply a gentle stretch, uh, maybe toward the last minute or so of the treatment session. And then keep in mind, after the treatment session, you're talking about a stretch window of about three to five minutes. Setting up the protocol for this treatment approach. From the home screen, you'll select the ultrasound option. You'll select clinical protocols. And within the clinical protocol menu, you will select chronic. And then the second option of tendon ligament superficial. And then simply select your intensity knob on the screen so it's highlighted and then increase the watts per centimeter squared to one. Now I'm just going to simply go over to the CX4 combo unit. We already have the protocol up onto the screen. I'm simply going to touch the uh, amplitude or the watts per centimeter squared in this case and increase the intensity with the dial up to one watt per centimeter squared. I'm going to apply the gel to the applicator sound head. And then we'll start sonating the treatment area. And what you'll notice right away is a very large LED light on the head of the applicator right here. It's a nice bright green LED that's a solid LED. That's indicating that we have ultrasound emitting out of the applicator at this point, and we have good contact with the tissue. If by chance that LED begins to flash, that's indicating you have a poor coupling or poor contact, um, and the timer on the unit will stop and ultrasound will discontinue emitting out of the applicator. Once you do maintain or get back into good contact with the tissue, that LED will turn solid and the timer on the device will automatically start up again. Now, if we've just fast forward to toward the end of the treatment, I would simply at that point begin to continue sonating with the applicator and then just apply a nice gentle stretch at the ankle to get a nice static stretch of the patella tendon. Now we're going to show you how to treat a chronic tennis elbow. The goal here is to induce vigorous heating in the common extensor tendon of the elbow. I'm just going to go to the device. I'm going to touch on the watts per centimeter squared. And turn that up to 0.0. Go ahead now and apply the applicator to the, sound, to the tissue. And as we fast forward now to the end of the treatment, or toward the end of the treatment, I'm gonna have the patient pull his arm over here so the wrist is ex extending over the edge of the table. Uh, table. Come out a little bit for me here. And as I'm sonating that tendon, and that tendon is nice and warm and hot, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little stretch 
and continue sonating that tendon until the treatment has ended. Now at the end of the treatment, we'll go ahead and stop it. Some other considerations that you can incorporate into your therapy now that you have a nice, hot, soft tendon to stretch, it's elastic, you've got a three to five minute window, we can consider now just doing some soft, manual soft tissue mobilization to that tendon, such as simply taking your fingers, if we just slide your hand this way a little bit, and we can start working that tendon. Okay, if you've got some instrument-assisted soft tissue mob devices in your clinic, you can certainly use those at this time. It's a great opportunity, again, to really work on that tendon now that it's nice and soft and elastic. Another idea is to start to incorporate some eccentric strengthening exercises. So we can bring the patient's hand over the edge of the table. We can have them hold on to a light dumbbell and then let that eccentric exercise range of motion kick in and we're getting into more functional activities at this point.